Adding and subtracting units. Um, it's not really showing this, but it's very, very similar to what we do with um, money, right? Like if you took, for example, if you had one dollar and I don't know, fifteen cents, and then you added it to your ninety cents like this, well, how much would you have? Now this one we get to add straight across, right? Because everything is based down here. So five plus zero, nine plus one, carry the one, and you have two dollars and five cents, right? So it's going to work very similar to that, except for instead of a hundred of something, there may be, for example, sixteen ounces in a pound. Okay. So we do have to remember that stuff, or some of the other ones, right? Twelve inches in a foot. Just looking at this, 60 minutes in an hour, mm, yeah, and then 16 ounces in a pound. I don't see any others on this that look any different than that. Maybe time, I guess. So number one, <clears throat> we've got feet. So just like we did with the money, you can line up the dollars and then the cents. So this first number, six feet. 8 inches, and you may have seen this notation before with the marks like this. And then we're going to add 4 feet and 5 inches. So when we add this all together, we would say that we have 10 feet and 13 inches, but that's too many inches. I mean, some people still may understand that, that's okay. But see, what we're going to do is we're going to take off 12 of these inches and turn it into a foot right here. So we really have 11 feet one inch. So we can write that over here like this, 11 feet, one inch. And that would be our answer for this. Um, actually, yeah, we'll do five and six here. And then if you want, we can come back to two, three, and four. So same idea, we've got two pounds, 14 ounces. And then we've also got three pounds, and seven ounces. So when we add these together, we've got five pounds and 21 ounces. But again, the thing about this is uh, 16 ounces is one pound. So we'll take off 16 of these 21 ounces, which means we can add a pound right here. So we really end up with six pounds and five ounces. Now, if that, I mean, if that bothers you that that looks like 61, which I would understand on a test. I mean, you can write out pounds, but LBS will be fine. All right, on this one, we got four and one half pounds, and then we got seven ounces as well. So 4.5 pounds, <clears throat> and then we have another seven ounces on this thing. So really, we have four pounds, and then we have half a pound, and then we'll add the seven ounces. So we just got to figure out how many ounces half a pound is. Well, half a pound, and we can do the unit conversion with uh, dimensional analysis over here. Half a pound, uh, we would multiply this by, let's see, one pound is 16 ounces. Hopefully that kind of looks familiar. We're now canceling out the pounds and 0.5 times 16 would be 8. So that should be 8 ounces. So I've got 4 pounds <clears throat> and my half a pound ended up being 8 ounces which I can then add to these 7 ounces and we end up with 4 pounds four pounds and these two combined 15 ounces there it is 14 and three-fourths pounds so let's look at this and look at it just in terms of pounds and ounces so we definitely have 14 pounds but we need to figure out how much three-fourths pounds is in ounces so once again one pound is the same as 16 ounces and the pounds will cancel out
All right, so 3 fourths times 16, uh, that should give us uh, 12 ounces. 12 ounces there. So really that 14 and 3 fourths pounds was 14 pounds and 12 ounces. Now when we add this to the 5 pounds and 2 ounces, well, we should get an answer directly on this one. So that becomes 19 pounds and 14 ounces. There it is. All right, so I apologize. Yeah, that's going to change a lot of stuff there. It's not 19 or 14 because this was subtraction. So let's subtract instead. 14 minus 5 is 9. And this one's good, actually, because these are all still direct. 12 minus 2 is 10 ounces. Now oh, that looks better. So at number 8, <clears throat> 5 hours, 15 minutes. Let's subtract 4 hours. And 18 minutes. Now the problem with this is we don't have enough minutes to subtract out of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 5 hours and change it to 4, just like we would when we borrow. Okay. Um, it'd be similar to taking $5.15 and, uh, and we're subtracting $4.18, right? You'd borrow from the 5 to make this, well, I'm sorry, you'd borrow from the 10 to make that a 15, and then that becomes a 0, then you'd borrow from the 5 to make that a 10, right? That's a 10, right? Same idea with this one. I'm going to borrow from the 5 hours and make that 4 hours instead. But for the 15, I'm going to have to tag on that hour into minutes. So that was 4 hours now and then plus 60 of those minutes. So that number now becomes 4 hours. And 60 plus the 15 is 75 minutes. And we'll take off that other four hours and 18 minutes. So I, I rewrote the problem here down here in the bottom part. So now when we subtract four, four hours minus four hours is zero hours so we don't necessarily need to write that in. And then 75 minus oh man this is plus again. Let's just say it says minus. Yeah that's about to say this. <laughs> Let's make that minus instead. Minus. Uh, well, 75 minus 18. So again, we're looking at borrowing stuff right here. 15 minus 8, 7. Borrow from the 7. 6 minus 1 is 5. You could have done it on the calculator. So that would have been 57 minutes. 0 hours, 57 minutes. Adding those two would have been, well, too easy, I think. If you wanted to add them. Nine hours, 33 minutes. But we can subtract them as well. I worked from 9.30 a.m. to 12.58 a.m. How many hours did I work? <clears throat> so on this one, because that's, that's what we will do, is we'll just add the 12 hours in. Uh, so essentially, it's like going from 9.30 to 12.58 so we can subtract that to find the difference. 12 hours, oh man, 58. And then we'll subtract 9 and 30. So that's uh, 8, 2, 28 minutes and 3 hours. Now for this, because once you hit that 12 o'clock mark, then you have PM. So we got to add that those other 12 hours to that. So I got 15 hours. It's a long work day, but, um, I, you know, some people do it. This is a nice building for it because, well, nurses do that sometimes. 15 hours, 28 minutes. By the way, um, I mean, outside of school, I don't usually do it like this. Usually what I'll do is I'll just count it on my fingers. 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, .30, and so forth. But whatever, whatever's good for you. So since they did ask for that decimal, let's figure that out. Now it's going to be 15 hours no matter what, so we can write that in. 
15 hours. But what we need to do is take our 28 minutes. How much of an hour is that? Well, that's 28 out of 60 minutes. Now, looking back at the dimensional analysis, I mean, it's going to be the same thing, but uh, let's make that 28 minutes. We're going to convert this to hours, so I'm going to multiply that by hours over minutes so that the minutes will cancel out. One hour, 60 minutes. And when I multiply those, 0 0.12 hours. So 15 hours and then 0 0.12 hours. Now, 15.12 hours. I did that all wrong in my head. I got 0 0.47 if we round it. And that would be fine. 0 0.47. Now really what I got was 0 0.46. And there was a bunch of sixes. The six just repeats. So I rounded it. If you by chance rounded that to 15.5, I mean, it didn't really tell us where to round there. So that would be fine as well. A student worked from 11.58 to 6.38, but checked out for lunch from 11, I'm sorry, 1.32 p.m. to 2.05 p.m. How many hours will they get paid for? So again, we'll, we'll look at the decimal value on this. So let's first figure out how many total hours they were at work, even if they were at, at lunch, okay? So we're going to include the lunch on this change. So they worked until 11.58 a.m., That's good. So 11.58 to 6.38. So I'm actually going to take that 11.58 and subtract it from 6.38. Now here's the thing, though, is we know that from noon to 6.38 is 6 hours <clears throat> and 38 minutes. But from we, we still have to account for... 11.58 till noon, which would just add another two minutes onto that. Now, I am keeping minutes separated because we're going to look at minutes for the lunch. So really, the total amount of time they were gone was six hours and 40 minutes. Well, then we're going to subtract out the lunch. And lunch went from 2.05. And we're looking at PM for both these. We can just subtract the 132. Um, but we do have to be careful on this, right? So the 2, we can, we should change that to 1 and then add 60 to that 5 minutes. So when we subtract, we have enough to take off. 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. 0. So 0 hours and 33 minutes. That's how long the lunch was. So we're going to subtract those 33 minutes away from the 6 hours and 40 minutes. And we got 6 hours and 7 minutes. So we just need to figure out how many, how much of an hour 7 minutes is. So we'll change uh, 7 minutes. Let's look at that one. 7 minutes. Let's use dimensional analysis to change this. Four minutes into hours. One hour is 60 minutes. So using my calculator, seven divided by 60, and I got 0 0.11 and then the six repeats. Now wherever we want to round this is fine, but this would be six point I mean, 116, we can write the exact if we want, hours. But we could round it, 6.12 would work as well. Either one of these.